It's time for Punjab versus Hyderabad. This game will be played in Dubai. And to help you get your fantasy teams right, I'm now joined by Ajit Agarkar on My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Forum. Hello, Ajit. How are you? Good, man. How are you? It's a very important pro tip, which you have to study a little bit. Consider the matchups and scores from recent encounters before you pick your 11. But you could take a punt on Chris Gale and Rashid Khan considering his record against Punjab. Mr. Agarkar, what are you saying? Yeah, I mean, if, if he does that again to Rashid Khan, Punjab will be, will, will be on the course to a good total or maybe chasing down a total that's set to them. But, but their matchup is, is, is a critical one in this game. Uh, and if Chris Gale does come out on top, it'll be really good for Punjab. So, right. yeah, it's an interesting one. Not many people have gotten after Rashid Khan. But before we give you our 11, just a quick reminder of the rules of this game. Please note that every user on my 11 circle has 100 credits available to form the team and each player has been assigned individual credit values. Users have to pick players from four categories, batsmen, all-rounders, wicketkeepers and bowlers with a maximum of seven players from one particular team allowed and you can pick four substitutes as well as part of your overall fantasy cricket plan. Chris Gale will be our captain. He scored a 50 and a couple of cameos in the three innings uh, this season. He's striking the ball as cleanly as we know him to and he's looking good for a massive, massive score. Watch out Hyderabad. Rashid Khan will be our vice-captain to nobody's surprise. Rashid is the highest wicket taker for his side this season with 12 wickets at an amazing economy of under six. His best figures this season came against Punjab which was 3 for 12. Always makes sense to have Rashid in the 11. So Chris Gale, the captain, Rashid Khan, uh, the vice captain, among our other topics, we've got David Warner, who scored 335 runs at an average of 37, including six scores of 30 plus in 10 innings. You cannot afford to drop him. KL Rahul is the other name, an absolute no brainer to be a part of uh, your topics. The orange cap holder with 540 runs at a strike rate of 136. Why would you not have him in your 11? Johnny Best of the last name on our topics, given that Williamson is likely to miss this game, he might take on more responsibility and will look to convert those 30s and 40s into a big score. The last time these two teams met, Bairstow scored a belligerent 97. So, that's what our topic uh, looks like. Chris Gale, Rashid Khan, uh, David Warner, KL Rahul and Johnny Bairstow. Are you Chris Gale as captain? A bit too adventurous, you think? Or are you happy? Uh, yeah, I can't see a Nicholas Puran in there. Uh, it's a bit of a surprise for me. But uh, to Chris Gale, we saw what he can do in that one over against Tushar Deshpande. So, that's the kind of ability that he has after a couple of games might be feeling a bit more confident about himself. But uh, it's going to be a really good matchup uh, with Rashid Khan. I think uh, that 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 could very well dictate how the game goes. Uh, you can understand Chris Gay has always been a big player in T20 cricket. Right, we've got two differential picks. One of which is uh, the man Ajit Agarkar spoke about, Nicholas Puran. Now, he's been striking the ball as clean as ever and as clean as anybody. He's got 22 sixes so far in this tournament with a frequency of a six almost every seven deliveries. Who would not want to pick this man in their 11? Ravi Bishnoi, the other man, uh, as our differential pick. Uh, this youngster has bowled some tough overs and he doesn't seem to be intimidated by players of big stature or by big hitters. He's picked up nine wickets so far this season at an impressive economy of under eight. So pick him, we say. So now you know who our seven players are five topics and two differential players. Now let's give you a full look at our uh, recommended 11. We've got three wicket keepers, Johnny Besto, Kale Rahul, and Nicholas Puran. We're going in with uh, two pure batsmen, David uh, Warner and Chris Gale. And we have uh, Glenn Maxwell, Jason Holder as the two all rounders. And we have four bowlers in our lineup Mohammad Shami, Rashid Khan, the vice captain, Pina Trajan, and Ravi Bishnoi. Now, if you look at our substitutes, Manish Pandey, Murgan Ashwin, Mayank Agarwal, and Vijay Shankar. Ajit, Manish Pandey and Vijay Shankar, the star, the batting stars of their last game, are not in the 11. How surprised are you? Yeah, it's a very, very tough, tough crowd here, to be honest. Uh, look, it's, uh, but, but I can't, I mean, Vijay Shankar, I can still understand. Manish Pandey uh, and Mayank Agarwal, really. Those two guys, uh, I'll try and fit them in my 11. I think those two guys have shown uh, how good they are and uh, they're in decent form as well. So, those are the two guys I'll certainly be looking at. I mean, uh, if, I know David Warner has been a great player and he can be great on his day. But those two guys probably have a bit more form than him at this point. So, uh, certainly be keeping an eye out for those two guys who are in the subs at the moment. 
Right, some of you might be having other thoughts on who to make captain Chris Gale. Yes, no, we've got an alternate scenario for you now. If Punjab bats second, there is a high chance of them chasing a big total and in that case, Gale Rahul is probably a safer captain option. But if they bat first, go with Gale, we say. Right then, you heard Ajit Agarkar uh, making his views loud and clear on who he would have in his lineup. We've shown you R11 as well. How about a third opinion? Here's uh, a high-risk 11 that uh, we've got for you. Take a look. So I've made three changes to the team. Um, Mayank Agarwal comes in for Shami. Priyam Garg comes in for Chris Gale, and Murgan Ashwin comes in for Tina Rajan. So Garg comes in. He's going to bat higher up the order with no Kale Williamson. So that's a. I, I think that's a good switch. Mayank Agarwal um, comes in for Shami because he hasn't had a good spell in the last few games. So and he got run out in the last game. So he has big potential as well. He is my vice captain as well. Pesto is my captain. He almost scored 100 against uh, Kings XI the last time he played. And again, just like Mayank, he's off colour right now. And I think this is the game he could uh, come in big. Morgan Ashwin comes in for Team Natarajan primarily because most of the top order in the ASRH batting lineup are right handers, except Warner. So he has huge potential for wickets and fantasy points. So, yeah. Uh, with Basto as captain, I think uh, there is a high risk, high reward option. So, yeah, this is my high risk 11. All right, then. Thanks, Arjun, for that very radical idea. We'll see which way the viewers go. But you guys go get your teams ready, win lots of prizes. For now, thanks so much, Ajit, for joining us on my 11th circle, Fantasy Pick on ESPN.